it's very important to provide the user with a good conceptual model. This makes it easier for the user to understand what's going on and to invent new actions when the old ones don't work. But if you're not careful, if you give the wrong conceptual model, why, they, they will invent the wrong actions. Here's an example. On the desktop model, we show each directory by an icon, an icon of a file folder. The icons are within the window. A number of years ago, when the Macintosh computer was first introduced and all we had were floppy disks, my son was using the Macintosh. His directory folder looked something like this. When he tried to save a file, he was told at one point, I'm sorry, there's not enough room to save your file. So, my son, being very intelligent, believing the conceptual model that had been presented to him, went back, looked at the directory folder, and carefully moved all the file folders over to the left, making considerable room on the right. Then he went back to the same application and tried to save. Can't do it, he was told. No room. Why not? Look at the screen. There's plenty of room. Problem is, that's the wrong conceptual model. Room in the picture on the screen is not the same as room on the floppy disk.